Hello friends, welcome to my November 2020 setup video. As you might guess by the title of this video, the theme for this month is friends. Before I start the setup, I decided to leave all the materials I used in the beginning of this video, but you can find it also on the description below. I would appreciate if you could leave a like in this video and subscribe to my channel to support my content. And if you want, you can turn on the notification bell to know when a new video is up on my channel. Now on to the video. So, during quarantine I've been watching A Marathon of Friends, and if you don't know this TV show, man you need to watch it or you won't understand half of the things in this team. I promise I won't share any spoilers in this video so you can relax and enjoy it. For the cover page I decided to be creative and to make a door. Yes, you heard it right, I made a door. To be more precise, I did Monica Geller's apartment door. To make this door, I decided to fold two pages in half to make the feeling of a opening a door. It's actually a pretty simple idea, but I felt like I was a genius to make this for literally opening a door. I used purple cardboard to make this cover page and I basically cut it this cardboard in half to fit both pages and since I'll be opening and closing these doors, I made sure to glue it in parts. The first part was to glue the center half, then I bended the cardboard to make sure it would open and closing how I wanted and then I glued the rest and cut the paper that was off the page. I did the same in the other side. After the cardboard was done, I started drawing the exact door that Monica has in her apartment. And when I mean exact, I mean the best I can. I used a lot of sticker paper in this spread, mostly on the little details of this door, like the doorknob or the frame. I find sticker paper a huge savior because it made this whole cover page easier. I also used my beloved stamps to stamp the month on the right side of the spread. Have you ever watched Friends? Let me know in the comments and tell me who is your favorite character. Mine was Rachel, but I love everyone in the cast by their own way. For my month in a glance, I did this illustration of Central Perk that I made in a separate video that will come out soon, and I'll leave the link on my description or if it's already out, you'll find the card in the screen of this video. Um, on my description you can also find more of my videos. As I was saying, I did this illustration using watercolors. Then I edited it on my computer and I printed it using my sticker paper, as you may have guessed. Then I made the calendar on a separate paper and glued in the spread.
For this theme, I decided to use a lot of images from the TV show that I really loved and edited to make a little vintage inspired and I also used my new washi tapes that I got from the washi tapes shop and from stationery pal that honestly really made a difference in the spread I stamped the initials of each day of the week and the spread is done. For my habit tracker, I decided to make a contrast using the purple cardboard and the black cardboard. I really loved how it turned out, by the way. I ripped those papers to spice up the team, and I started making each box for each habit, and I basically did a 10 by 3 squares, so I had 30 days in each box. For my mood tracker, I did a round tracker that it's the same layout as my September theme, and you can check that video in the link down below. Also, on the mood tracker I used 4 colors to describe my day, using the colors purple, pink, grey and lemon yellow. I decorated these spreads using stick stickers and washi tape, and in a separate paper I stamped each tracker's name and ripped the paper around it. The quote in the mood tracker is from a scene that I thought it was the funniest from the show. Do you know this scene? Of course that the quotes, we were on a break, oh my god, and Joey doesn't share food are the OGs from the show. But I really like this scene.
my sleep and work tracker, I decided to use the same layout as in my October setup. So, since the tracker is quite large, I only used the ripped cardboard, the washi tape and the ripped paper with the tracker's name. In this case, sleep and work. This layout is simple. In the horizontal, I wrote the hours and in the vertical, I wrote the days. This tracker is my key to be organized and visualize what I do each day and for how long. Moving on to the next spread is my social media spread. In this spread I like to make a video tracker, uh, my videos ideas and my daily growth on social media. I can make a video talking more in depth about this spread if you want to, so let me know in the comments down below. The order for making this team is always the same. So in this spread I ripped the cardboards, I glued them, 
I added the washi tape and stickers and in this spread I added one of the first lines of Rachel in the pilot episode. Last but not least, I did my first weekly spread. I decided to follow the order I used until now, so again, I put a cardboard on the top of the spread and I started by making 6 columns. And in the 6th uh, column, I turned it into my weekend column, making half Saturday and half Sunday. Basically, I divided the column in half. After that, I just decorated the rest of the spread. I think this theme is one of my favorites that I made. The glue was a terrible idea because it left my hands sticky all the time, but in the end was totally worth it. I haven't mentioned, but in this setup I glued pages together so the paper could support better my water-based markers. So it does so it does not bleed or ghost.
Here's the final flip through. I really love this team and I hope you did too. If you did please like and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know when a new video is up on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe friends.